You can now spice up your Webflow projects with a combo of Lottie animations and a 3D spline scene. Let's dive in! First off, you've got the basic set. Now, let's create a cozy home for our Lottie and spline magic by container. To visualize the container, fill it with a red background, adjusting its height, width, and max width to 100 viewports. Align the container centrally by modifying the display layout, alignment, and spacing. Oh, and switch its position from static to fixed. Wait, can't see some text? No worries. Push that container behind the scenes by setting its Z index to minus one. And for the text layer, let's make its background vanish by setting the background color opacity to zero. Now, the spline and Lottie show off. Now, let's welcome our spline scene. Just drag and drop it from the add menu, keeping it cozy inside that container. Toss in the URL in the settings section. Looking good. If you don't know where you can get that URL from, here is a quick preview. This is my spline scene that I intend to use in my Webflow project. I'd like these objects to appear one by one as we scroll down. Once it's all set, just click on export. You can tweak these settings and just grab the URL from here. Okay, now it's styling time. Give that spline scene at class. Size it up to 100 viewports and center it out. Oh, and set it to fixed position with a Z index of one. Now, say hello to the star of the show, the Lottie animation. Drop it in, switch up the sequence, and give it a new class. Adjust the sizing to cover the entire area. Preview to ensure the Lottie animation plays correctly. Now, the scrolling magic. Grab that container, head to interactions and trigger it while scrolling in view. Choose play scroll animation. Create a new animation for the spline scene. Rename it to Spline Animation. Select the spline under Integrations and choose the object to animate. Adjust the values for each keyframe to control the appearance as you scroll. I am tweaking the Y position values over here. Adjust the position of the keyframes by taking cues from the live preview. Test the animation to ensure it works seamlessly. To achieve a smoother effect, add keyframes for the second object as well. I am going to throw in some rotating moves as well to make it even more interesting. I am playing around with the Y rotation values here. Now, for the Lottie animation, follow the same steps. While scrolling, play that animation. Set your keyframes, tweak the values, and hit preview. Make sure you save your animation. And voila, your site's now rocking a dynamic duo, Lottie animation and a 3D spline scene. And that's a wrap for this tutorial, friends. 